The traditional Cornish pasty, long associated with the area. And today we've come to the cookery school of one of the country's most famous and colourful chefs, who has close links with Cornwall, Rosemary Schrager. This is a seriously wonderful kitchen. I mean, thank you so much for letting us come in. Well, I'm so glad you said that because this is this is a dream come true, and it's like it's it's I've put everything into this, everything that I have ever wanted in terms of what I feel I want to get out of it, and um, my vision behind this kitchen is a Mark Wilkinson kitchen, but my vision was to keep it simple, very natural colours. It's the people who are the colour and that's what it's all about, it's all about the food. So this is a great feeling of peace in here. This sparkling new kitchen is beautifully crafted, this place being the next step in Rosemary's successful career, with the roots of her cooking being planted in Cornwall. When I sort of first started, it was quite funny because I actually thought that I could cook. Now, <laughs> that was a long time, it was about 35 years ago, and I, I actually learnt from books because I was working for architects in the city and I actually was doing the Miller Howe Hotel at the time. I realised actually I don't want to serve, I don't want to do anything like that, I wanted to cook. It was about 25 years ago when I actually became very serious in terms of going actually working permanently and things like this and I had a restaurant and things so and in Cornwall. Yeah. In Cornwall. And so, uh, you know, and that's really, so I've progressed slowly but surely through the whole thing, learning the hard way. I absolutely love Cornwall. I mean, my family are in Cornwall and, you know, I, Cornwall is the greatest, greatest county. And, you know, I think in a way, you know, with things going wrong, I would, with me in Cornwall, and the problem is having left it uh, in a way the way I did, um, I hope that Cornwall will invite me back. The problem was that um, my husband's business went under. So of course all the you know, work I was putting into the restaurant and everything else just disappeared overnight. And that is what I think the nation loves about you, Rosemary, because yes. you started again. Oh my gosh. Having lived there for so many years and also you know, my family all, all there and, and um, you know, I sort of um, miss it. And when you asked me to do this, I thought, what could be nicer? And I have to tell you, uh, my mother makes the best Cornish pasties. I mean, we never say Cornish, we always say pasty. Pasty, yeah. Right. You don't say Cornish, we just say pasty. Anybody who says Cornish doesn't, isn't Cornwall, isn't Cornish, always has to say pasty. So I would like to do a pasty with you. Would you like to do one? Well, I think that's fantastic. Um, so it's Rosemary's, <laughs> Cornwall in a pasty. Oh, I love that. Rosemary Cornwall in a pasty. Well, I, put, I will put loads of love into it. <laughs> now, this pastry is made out of lard, and I put butter in as well. Some people just do lard, flour, water, salt, and so on. It's very simple, but it's a lovely pastry to work with. Can you see that? The most important thing is the ingredient is going to be skirt yep. for our beef, a sweet, some onion, onion and potato again needs to be, I like it quite thin, you know, because it's going to, it's got to be raw when it's put in. You must have black pepper and obviously all the salt. Now I like to put the meat at the top because all the juices go down to the bottom. You know, the old fashioned pasty, you know, used to have apple at one end and oh, then, it's you know, it's sweet on one side, that's right. So they can the take other. it down to the mines. And tell me about the, the tin the, mines. The, tell me about the rim. Why, why was that? Crimping. Well, Crimping. you're going to tell me, aren't I'm you? I'm going to tell yeah, you. Yeah, I knew that. Come on, tell me. Well, the idea was that you could hold it yes. um, with your hands, do dirty hands, and okay. it was just you threw it away. Oh, yes. Did I you never, know? No, I never oh. knew that. He's, oh. he's just taught me so something. Well, so anyway. I'm going to do one, and then we'll roll out another one, and you can do the other one. Excellent. Now, hands on. So like it, it is definitely hands on. Yeah. I'm going to season the meat. Right. I'm going to put black pepper, lots of black pepper. I'm also going to put some black pepper in there, black pepper with the onion. Now we're going to take some seasoning for the potato. This this. So there's lots of seasoning going on and lots of black pepper and that's what you need. A little bit of onion, a little bit of sweet, a little bit more than the sweet because I like the sweet, a little bit of potato, 
love the potato. Look at that, gorgeous. Fantastic. And then the meat mix on all top. the meat on top. The skirt. The, the skirt. skirt. Yeah. It's like a string steak, really, a little bit. It's sort of, you know, it doesn't, it's sort of good flavour. You know, this is a cheap, this is, you know, this was not going to be an expensive loin. So we're going to now egg. And this is a sort of binding, is this it? Is the, this will make it stick. Yeah. All right, so I've allowed quite a lot of pastry coming round. So in fact, I'd probably even do it thinner than that. Now, we've got that. Bring it round. Push it in. Look at that. Look That's at that. Bad. Now, we haven't finished yet. Now, crimping, crimp, crimp. crimp. Now, a lot of people take it actually from bring it up and do it in the centre. Now, I'm not very good at this. This is I not... Think, I, think, I think you're being modest. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> well, these there. people, I've seen it being done, and these people, absolutely, you can bring it, if you want to bring it round, bring it up it's, like it's, that. It's quite rusty. So, you, I mean, it's quite so, it's so, of, so basically, yeah. that's it. Okay, now, it's not quite full enough for me, so I want you to do the next one fuller. Right. All right? Hang on, hang on. So what you do is push it push down. It and then yes, roll. This is this is a sort of dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> Press a little hard, otherwise we'll be here all day. <laughs> what I'd like you to do now is to fill it up. Off you go, go on over you go. Yeah, do it. Yeah, it's gone all the way. That's right. There we go. Is that all right? I think that looks fantastic. I'm not bottom of the No, I think that looks absolutely brilliant. Really brilliant. That's good. I mean, the thing about pasty is anything can go really. You know, look at that. Oh, that's sweet. Is that all right? Yes, it is a little one, isn't it? Yes. What a funny shape. Right, let's get this in. So, let's just leave it. Now, we need to just leave that. How long for? 50 minutes. 50 minutes. And That's then it. We have and, then, meal. and then we have our meal. Oh, I'm looking, I'm really looking forward I'm to that. Hungry, yes, me too. So, in the meantime, shall I show you the cookery store? Well, let me see this. These stations have everything on them. It's just the whole thing is absolutely gorgeous. And you touch it. For, yes. I mean, I've really gone for the jugular, haven't I? I mean, I just, when I think when I think about it, what have I done? I think it's amazing. I mean, it's like, I have to, but I've had to think about this. I really have, like everybody has to have their, you know, one of these things at the stations. But also I went with this top because I thought it was timeless. Do you want to come and see my coffee area? Rosemary, I bet you say that to everybody. <laughs> Actually, do you know, I do. <laughs> I do. I say to because I've never had a coffee area before, but like this. So it's got all my favourite lovely machines and which again I stroke. Yeah. No, but also it gets everything out of the, uh, out, of the way. out of the way and it's all fine and you know, and everything works and it's good fun. It's good fun. OMG, as they say, all the young ones say. This is where people, having cooked the food, they come and eat it, basically. We can either, or we do dinners here as well. And it just sort of works, you know, it's great. Now, now Rosemary, you've got the Bodleian Library here. I have, I have. This is, this is some of my books. Do you remember me telling earlier about the book? Oh, yeah, well, that's what I want to know. Is, is it Julius? I can see one of them, is it yeah. Julius? yeah I want to see Julius. Yeah, hang on. No. <laughs> yeah. Now this is Julia Child. Julia Child, yes. And, but no, no pictures at all. No, no pictures. I just love it. I, I know it's my. Oh. It's like I just love this. This is, you know, the fact that the covers come off it. That and, makes it even better. For yeah, you. and it's it's special, isn't it? But I've got something really special to show you. Will you come with me? I can't wait. Through here, this oh, is the oh, this nice. is the professional kitchen. It's just amazing. It just works so well. But this will be for apprenticeships, for students, for teaching, because this is really important. This is part of, this is one of my passions, uh, teaching people how to cook. Well, I want to inspire young ones. I hope it will encourage them. It'll, you know, it'll make them respect what they're doing. It'll make them clean. It'll make them just have pride in what they're doing. And that's really important to me. Well, Rosemary, I just salute you for 
handing on to the next generation. Yeah, but I want to show you one more thing. Come on. Let's one go. more thing. I think you're going to like this. You really are. What's in here? Right. Ta da! This is our walk-in chiller. Oh, let's have a look. It works. It's at a steady four degrees. So let's go. That's it. <laughs> Rosemary. Rosemary. Rosemary! Thankfully, Rosemary did let me out, just in time to get the pasties out of the oven. So let's have a look. Wow. Well, what I'm going to do is now uh, I'm going to take these out. I have to tell you, they are looking really good. They are looking brilliant. Look at that. Shall we dig in? Shall we? Now, let's go. I want to go in the middle. Oh, my gosh. Now, yours is better. Do you remember me saying mine wasn't quite full enough? Do you think I actually... And that was... Mine wasn't quite full enough, but yours is. So let me just... You have to eat in your fingers. Well, here we go. Oh. That is just Oh, my God. Rotten. And the pepper. Mmm. Mm. Rosemary Schrager. Oh my god. That actually is brilliant. Cheers. <laughs> that is cheers, absolutely. That is good. Mmm. Now, mm. Rosemary, um, mm. that is just fantastic. It is but, good. I, I'm going to um, keep eating. Oh. I, I just love it, but I just want to be serious just for a moment. Because, yes. Um, you've been so kind and generous, and I think um, we have, I haven't mentioned it before. No. But um, you were robbed last year. Yeah. And I know a producer tried very hard, and there's a certain bird that didn't come back from Australia. Yes, sad. <laughs> Rosemary Schrager, thank you so much indeed. Do the squeeze! Yes. Do the squeeze! <laughs> I love it! I love it!